I just want to personally and publicly go on record supporting this resolution before us this evening. You know, guys, it's, it's simple. Like a lot of them have said, the Constitution needs no, no explanation. It's been enforced for several hundred years now. It's easy to understand. It says what it means and means what it says. And the last time I read the Declaration of Independence, it, it, it specifically reminds all of us that we're endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights, which means God-given, among these life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, and that governments were instituted among men specifically to secure our God-given rights. And it says when government becomes destructive to these <coughs> ends, meaning when they go above and beyond trying to secure our liberties and trying to take them, it's the right of the people to alter or abolish that government, either by voting or ultimately, God forbid, to use our Second Amendment rights to protect ourselves from tyranny. And I'm just asking all of y'all to unanimously join our sister counties of Wilkes, Surrey, Stokes, Lincoln, and Cherokee and get on board with this thing and publicly demonstrate to us that you're willing to uphold and honor the same oath I took when I put my hand on God's word and held my other hand up to him and swore that I'd give my life to defend that Constitution. And I, and I hate, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but regardless of what y'all do or don't do, I'm not going to enforce an unconstitutional law. I'm going to protect <laughs> I'm going to protect the people of this county regardless of what's done here. So I'm just praying. I've been praying about this thing all week, that God would touch y'all's heart and say, hey, let's get on board. Let's do the right thing. Let's let these people know that we're here to support them, and we're not going to allocate any personnel, finances, resources, or facilities to infringe on their liberties. Thank you.